Hey guys, you're listening to the English Made Simple show. This is episode number 128, number 128, numero 128. Well, hello there. What's cooking good looking? <laughs> Welcome to the English Made Simple show. My name is Milena from EnglishMadeSimple.net, EnglishMadeSimple.net. And um, I trust you've been well, keeping out of mischief, I hope. Great, great. So what's cooking, amigos y amigas? In other words, what's up? What's happening? And uh, you guessed it, guys. Uh, today's topic will be about kitchen vocabulary. Let's learn some useful words, words that we need to know when we are in the kitchen cooking or preparing food. Just a quick question. Do you know how to prepare eggs in English? <laughs> Do you know how to make coffee in English? Do you know how to cook in general? <laughs> Great! You will learn all of this very soon. However, my husband thinks I'm probably not the best person to teach you about the kitchen vocabulary because I'm not a great cook. I don't spend time in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, by the way, did you know that if you use the word cook, C-O-O-K, as a noun, it becomes like a job title. Uh, someone who cooks is called a cook. They can also be called a chef, spelled as C-H-E-F. In Spanish, this is cocinero, C-H-E-F, pronounced chef. Cool. Well, I do like a home-cooked meal, when someone else makes it, that is. <laughs> And this is a very good phrase to know, by the way, um, home-cooked meal. Meal, M-E-A-L, is another word for food, but it actually is so much more than just food. According to Well Inteligente or the online dictionary, meal, so spelled as M-E-A-L, as I mentioned, is an occasion when you eat food. For example, breakfast or dinner or the food that you eat on that occasion. Okay, It is a countable noun, meaning you can have one meal or you can have many meals. For example, I had breakfast this morning. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day for me. Uh, lunch would be the main meal of the day, but for some, uh, dinner is the main meal of the day. That means when you eat the most. If it's the main meal of the day, that's when you eat the most. When you pig out. <laughs> that's slang, when you're eating a lot like a pig, you pig out. Right, uh, when you go out uh, to eat at a fancy schmancy restaurant, like a five-star restaurant, for example, they would uh, serve you a three-course meal or a five-course meal. Uh, actually, it doesn't really have to be a fancy restaurant. It can be any restaurant um, that uh, has something written on the menu, like a three-course meal, uh, which means you will have entree or the starters, you know, something small to eat, and then followed by the main meal and lastly, dessert. Uh, this is a three-course meal, okay? Right, hopefully we're getting all of this. Uh, my mom knows how to prepare really yummy meals. That's another example. She prepares really yummy meals, delicious meals. Uh, in English, we can say yummy when something is delicious or delicious. You can say, oh, it's delicious or it's yummy, uh, which means que rico, uh, which is Chilean for yummy, <laughs> okay? But I'd like to give you my definition of the word meal uh, because I don't really like what uh, Weon Inteligente said, okay? <laughs> uh, to me, the word meal is more like a combination of different uh, foods, a variety of foods served as one portion. Uh, to me, this makes it a meal. For example, for breakfast, you don't just eat eggs. You have to eat it with something. Well, that's my definition of the word meal. So I just wanted to clarify that. And uh, now speaking of breakfast, let's learn some useful verbs when preparing breakfast. 
I normally have coffee with my breakfast. Do you? I love coffee. I'm addicted to coffee. Do you know how to make coffee? <laughs> I hope so. To make coffee, we have to boil the water first. That's your first verb, to boil, to boil water. In Spanish, this is hervir agua, to boil water. You can use the kettle to boil the water. Kettle in English or un hervidor o una tetera in Spanish. Kettle. If you're not a fan of coffee, well, uh, then you can make yourself a cup of tea. Again, you will need to boil the water, okay? And if you like to eat eggs in the morning, there are different ways of preparing eggs. You can uh, also boil the eggs or you can fry them or scramble them or poach them. To fry eggs, to fry is the verb. You put them in a pan with a little bit of oil and you fry eggs. In Spanish, this is huevos fritos. Normally, you serve the eggs sunny side up when they are fried. Sunny side up is a term or an expression which means uh, the yellow part of the egg, which is called yolk, yolk, or in Spanish, this is yema. Uh, when the eggs are cooked sunny side up, it means the yolk is up, it's showing, and you can see it on the plate. It looks like a sun, okay? Sunny side up. That's the phrase that I often hear in the cafes, sunny side up eggs. Cool. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs have to be mixed or folded either before they go into the pan or while they're in the pan, while you are preparing them. Scrambled eggs in Spanish is huevos revueltos. Huevos revueltos. Cool. And another way to prepare eggs is by poaching them. Poached eggs. And uh, poached eggs in Spanish is huevos pochados. Because it's hard to explain these poached eggs, I will share a recipe from Jamie Oliver in the Facebook group uh, that I think will best describe poached eggs. I think this is the healthiest way to prepare eggs as you don't use any oil. You will learn more useful verbs uh, in the recipe that I, sh that I will share with you in the Facebook group. You will uh, learn some new terminology. Cool bananas. And in case you're curious, my favorite meal in the morning is poached eggs with smashed avocado. Smashed avo. That's Australian abbreviated name. Smashed avocado. Smashed is a fancy name to, to mean mashed. Mashed avocado. Smashed avocado is a Australian term. Uh, which means the avocado is mixed with feta cheese and maybe some herbs and you can put some salt and pepper. You can put a bit of mint, you know, some different herbs. Oh, it's delicious. Now I know what I'm going to have tomorrow morning for breakfast. I'm getting hungry now. Uh, so let me explain to mash, the verb to mash. This is another verb to know. In Spanish, this is moler. So smashed avocado would mean Palta molida or aguacate molido. Meshed avocado or smashed avocado, okay? Whichever you prefer. You can also make meshed potatoes um, or make a puree. In English, they pronounce it as puree. I think this is also known as puree. Before you mash the potatoes, you have to boil them first. Uh -huh. Remember that word boil, okay? You have to boil the potatoes before you mash them. Cool, I hope you're getting all of this. Uh, there is a lot more to learn here, guys. Many more useful verbs uh, to know. Today's episode uh, was perfect for expanding your vocabulary. I hope that was useful. So just to recap, we learned uh, what home-cooked meal is and we learned Five different verbs, uh, all regular verbs, by the way. To boil, to fry, to scramble, to poach, and to mash. Awesome. If you have enjoyed uh, today's uh, show, please share it with your friends who may also find it helpful as well. And uh, if you have uh, five seconds of your time, and if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this show on iTunes. It will really help me spread the message 
and reach 1 million people. And um, I would also love it if you leave a review in iTunes so that I can continue delivering awesome shows to help you learn English. Awesome. It's been a pleasure, amigos y amigas. You've been an amazing audience. Let's chat next time. Until next time, hasta la próxima. Hasta la próxima.